Hi everyone, this is my welcome back and I'm making another video um, in regards to connecting to the Genesis Tree Labs using um, on a Windows uh, machine. Now uh, let's just do a quick recap of the um, first video, how to connect to the um, uh, Genesis Tree Lab using a terminal. Uh, let's give a sample terminal here. The command is telnet. Remember the spelling is important. Telnet. Ten dot. Well, in my case, the IP address of the local Genesis Tree server. You'll be given a routable IP address and the port number assignment. Always make sure to check the port number assignment. Let's say we're connecting to router 15. 2115. I like that number. 2115. And we're in router 15. So that's just it. That's the quick revision for that. Remember, Telnet, the IP address, Telnet, the IP address, and the port number for the router you're trying to connect to. Alright, let's get rid of this. Close terminals. I'm going to keep that open. Now, let's go to a Windows client, um, a Windows machine. I'm using um, VirtualBox to do this. Now I already start and tested this out. That's why I saw those windows. But now I'll go through the basics again. You go to your browser, and um, well, you go to your browser, and you type. I would suggest you use Potty and Super Potty. Um, Potty, download. That's usually the Telnet client of choice. Uh, you can download the installer if you want. I prefer using the zip file. Now, I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to show you the folder I saved it in. And the folder is see, this is a file I downloaded for Potty. I extracted it into this. Now this is the file you actually need. If you're going to connect through Potty directly, it's simple. I already configured this. So let me just load the configuration I made. As you can see, you select Telnet, you type in the IP address and the port number. Now this port is 2120 for route 16. Let's double check the route assignment. 16 is 2120. It's right on the money. That's why it's important to make sure you verify your route assignments just in case. Now you can do, you can connect using Potty. Only problem is uh, Potty has a disadvantage in that it does not allow you to create tabs. Hence to manage multiple routers you actually need multiple windows separate windows of potty which is unmanageable or doesn't scale now to circumvent that you use super potty now i'm going to close this minimize that i'm going to type super potty download it's actually there for me you go to the Google code page I prefer using the 1.3 but it doesn't matter you could actually use the 1.404 um, I'm not gonna this is how you download it you download by clicking this link I'm not gonna save it since I've done that already uh, we'll just show you where I saved it in so this is my potty this is the super potty I downloaded. This the one I usually I usually use the 1.3, uh, but the 1.4 is fine too. So you extract this, which is what I did. This um, go to a uh, super potty command. Um, let me close this just to make sure it doesn't confuse you. And um, I'm gonna launch it. 
hopefully it doesn't have a bug oh it's working now I want to connect to let's say router 1 and I want to do the whole thing you click down on the protocol and select telnet the telnet application um, you type in the IP address please remember this is my own um, this is a local PC to me that's why I'm using a, a non routable IP address and then you type in the port number uh, let's say 2101 which is for router 1 I'm going to verify that router 1 2101 okay I'm, I'm sure now and then you click on the green button here to connect and there you go no router 1 now you can always rename this I advise you do this all the time once you open a router rename it so that it's easier to manage see router 1 um, I'm gonna go to router 2 rename it as router 2 I'm gonna go to router 3 I, I, I know the port numbers that's why I'm doing this usually you should please check the port assignments but just again to verify route 3 2103 and just click on connect or enter okay so rename r3 um, route 4 gonna rename this r4 Router 5 R5 So you can you get the gist I'm gonna go all the way to um, 17 because I'm gonna configure this lab right now um, But you can get the gist this is a very simple uh, way to import um, to manage and uh, Configure a complex lab or a lab that would not scale using poly so if I want to go to route 1, just click on tab, and I'm route 1, 3, tab, that's it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send it to NYC Networkers e email list, and uh, we will get back to you. I would definitely make an every attempt to respond to your question, but if I don't or can't reach it, someone else will. Alright, uh, have a good one.